In today's episode, we get our guest cabin ready to party. We have a lot of cleaning to do. T minus two days until the bachelorette party. And it is coming down to the wire. Will we get everything done in time? Oh, it's in my eye. Got in my eye. It got in my eye. Help me. Come join us to find out. It was a dirty floor. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Look at all this debris from the storm. It's unreal. This beach was pretty much clean. <laughs> Legitimately thought someone took a backhoe through all this, but this is what five inches of rain in the Great Lake looks like. It just carved this channel. This is all new. myself a to-do list for this space because I just feel a little overwhelmed on what I need to get done and what to prioritize I need to get done. So when I say prioritize, I guess I did not prioritize this list I'm about to show you, but it's the things I need to get done. So I made myself a list. I'm going to try to chip away at them and hopefully You'll never be able to see me paint this space again, except for the bathroom when we actually start working on that. <laughs> also, I thought about the trim bar and I think I'm gonna take the baseboards off the wall, but leave the ceiling trim on, just because it's way easier to paint than kneeling on my knees for a really long time. So that's what we're gonna do. Don't mind the chaos that's happening in the background. Cecil's very jealous that Bryce is watching his cars and that she doesn't get to play with the hose. <laughs> from Bonnie when she was here last time she showed me because she worked on the last trim that I took off the wall that I still haven't painted or put back on <laughs> because the nails defeated me. But they just said to pull them through instead of pounding them through. So I think this is gonna go a lot faster than it did the last time. Let's hope so. We're gonna speed up the process of washing these. Might as well use the tools we have. Oh, it's in my eye. Got it in my eye. It got it in my eye. Well, that didn't go as planned.
Painting and taping is miserable. I'm sure the viewers agree. <laughs> <laughs> They're over it as much as you are. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, wow, I wonder why people ask you sometimes why, like, why do you run marathons? Why do you want to run, like, ultras for this? I've been really channeling that mindset of, like, just gotta get to the finish. Just gotta finish the project. Just like how I feel when I'm running. Just gotta get to the finish. I don't wanna quit and then never come back to it. So here we are. And just really hope that the result is worth it. <laughs> just imagine if you had to do this to something that wasn't only 700 square feet. <laughs> I, couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't do it. Kudos to you for doing this for a living because this is so hard. <laughs> but it's so easy, but it's so hard. It is just really time consuming and it doesn't seem like, I, I don't know how to make it look any better than what you're doing. It's really hard. I also don't know how to make it look any better than what I'm doing because it's not looking good. <laughs> minus two days until the bachelorette party and I am honestly really embarrassed with the state of our front porch we were trying to do a screened in porch we haven't made any progress on that at all but it's just became kind of a dumping ground for random things right now and we got to get this cleaned up because people are going to be here it's going to be the first time we've really had guests over other than just you know my mom and a few other friends and Aaron and stuff like that but just like the first large group gathering. So we really want to make it nice. It's just completely unacceptable. <laughs> it's fallen into uh, quite a sorry state. So uh, I'm just going to take some time and, um, you know, get everything moved that doesn't need to be up on here. Uh, get it all swept off, blown off, maybe washed and scrubbed and stocked up. Uh, the wood is pretty much down to the scraps of wood that are either too big to fit in our wood stove or kind of rotten. I didn't really want to burn them in there. So, uh, yeah, let's get after it. You can see just how much tree pollen has worked its way up here. Unreal, right? That and like monsoon rains haven't helped this area at all. What do you think, Kane? Does it need to be cleaned up?
She's living vicariously through Kane. Like, yeah, you eat that bone. Yeah, you chew it. That's how I chew it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you chew that bone. That should be good. This is how we have to move in our house so we don't disrupt Mama Bird that feeds the baby. <laughs> if we go near the door, she'll fly away. <laughs> We're only doing this right now because we've been outside grilling <laughs> on our deck for the first time. And uh, she has been away from her kids for a long time. Yeah, we don't want them to die because they're so cute. And it's kind of cold out. Her name is Phoebe and she's a Eastern Phoebe, which is a bird. And they eat flies and ticks and insects and mosquitoes. Yeah, we want a lot of those around. Guess what? I finished the trim. Ta-da! And I painted the doors green so they weren't such an eyesore. I still have to put on the baseboard trim, but we are doing things backwards. We really wanted to put new flooring in here because I don't know if you could tell, but this green flooring is just so gross. <laughs> so we priced it out and for right now, vinyl flooring that we thought was cheap is out of our budget. And eventually we'd like to do a tongue and groove on the floor, like a nice wood finish. But for now, what we can afford is different paint. So we're actually gonna paint the floor today, which is a surprise to add to my list of things to do. <laughs> but to prep for that, I have to clean the floors really good just to make sure we don't paint over grime and it's smooth and it adheres well. So, I'm gonna turn into Cinderella and start on that project. Help me. just the tool for doing this floor scrubbing. You might remember these from the horse mats. Ryobi kind of bit. This should work really good, I think. We just need to throw some soap on it and go to town.
I'm thinking about while scrubbing this floor is for my Prince Charming to come rescue me. Salakadoola, metricaboola, bibbidi bobbidi boo. Put them together. No. He's not coming. So I probably should keep going. <laughs> Yeah, take a drink of that. Mmm, delicioso. Floor transformation. <gasps> yeah. Glad it's over. <laughs> that was a lot of work. As you see, we have a new color floor, but we are running into issues with it already. Yes, it is new freshly painted, so maybe it needs a little bit more time to dry. It's a little tacky, but it is not adhering as well as we thought it would. Yep, so I don't know, it's concrete and porch floor, so I, I don't know. It, sh uh. it should work for this space, so we'll, we'll see how it looks at the end of this weekend. That'll be the real test. I'm already worried. Yeah, and maybe the dark green just wants to keep being in our life. Let's hope not. We got too many hours in now. All right, well, we gotta keep going. The party starts. Looking good, yeah! Yes, of course I will. Why are you crying? <laughs> wow, it fits really oh. a little bit loose actually. <laughs> weekend is coming to a close now. Yep, I can't believe it's over. Um, the grind was totally worth it. It seemed like everyone had a really fun time. And uh, I think we're both just completely exhausted. Yeah, I don't have like a alcohol hangover. I have a food hangover because <laughs> everyone brought so many good snacks and we've been uh, staying away from snacks to just get prepared for our wedding. So it was a nice treat, but my body surely inflamed <laughs> yeah it was just so nice to have my friends over and celebrate with them and it really made it feel more real that we're actually going to be getting married yeah and it also made it feel just so much more real that we own this mm -hmm. like we haven't been able to sit in this building and make it feel like a part of our home so this was our first time getting to hang out in here and i think the atmosphere and the way it turned out just we hit it on the nail 
think. I, I totally agree. What was kind of interesting is like Jen was kind of explaining is it almost feels like we've been unlocking one room at a time. Yeah. It's like you're becoming comfortable with this space and then we clean it and sanitize it, make it our own and then we're comfortable with that space. Mm -hmm. and, and step by step, I feel like we're kind of taking over the property a little bit. Yeah. It's so weird because this was just like a vacant, dirty space that we would walk through constantly. And um, it was just a construction zone. Mm -hmm. And so now it actually, like, you come in here and you're like, wow, it's, it's homey. Like, like I want to hang out in yeah, here. Yeah, it's cool. We still have a lot more to do with the space. But mm -hmm. I think for at least this season, we got it to a level that everyone can enjoy. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Like, we, we don't really have, I mean, furniture... And we don't, we haven't had the space figured out. I think that we have to have guests come and go and kind of live in the space like we did with the van where we're keeping things maybe a little bit more modular to figure yeah. out where things naturally kind of end up. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we'll maybe build in a bit more permanent solutions. Yeah. And we want the space to be creative and fun. So I think as time goes on, we can add our artistic and creative flair to it. But as a blank slate, it is really nice. Yeah, this is great. This is a, a perfect fresh start. Oh, so now we just move on to the next project, which for me, I think is just getting married. <laughs> yeah, that is something we need to focus on. I think we're now going to just take some time to enjoy the space, relax, have some fun a little bit this summer now that the sun is shining and the mm -hmm. bugs aren't as treacherous. Yeah. But we're still obviously going to do cabin content, so. Mm -hmm. Just stay along for the ride and it'll be fun. We do have some plans to run another race. Those of you that are runners out there. <laughs> I do have a race video. I have to <laughs> edit still. So let us know if you're still into the running content. I know that was our original base and we still love running and we still love having an adventure. So let us know if you're still interested in that. I know majority of our cabin, but mm -hmm. who knows, maybe you want to get into running. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally true. All right, well, we are going to go just maybe take a nap and reflect on our fun weekend and we'll get back to you guys. So we'll see you on the next one. Thanks Bye. everyone. One, two, three, four. Doom tech, tech, doom tech, doom tech, tech, doom tech.